The week kicked off with Nikki hiring newcomer Claire Grace, marking Haley Aaron's return to Young and Restless. She previously played Abby and launching the entire fan base into detective mode. It seemed obvious that Claire's background story was either bogus or providing us with clues as to who she might really be and what she wants. Catch up on all of the theories as to what Claire Grace is hiding here. Adam grappled with his first day on the job as Nate's assistant, which involved Hastings trying to set boundaries. Trying being the operative word as Adam was not having it. No surprise there. Adam then tangled with Victoria, who claims to have accepted Victor's new world order, and insists she'll give Adam the benefit of the doubt. Sure Jan, on the heels of a verbal sparring match with his sister by the Newman elevators, Adam managed to clash with Tucker, who declared him an enemy, before walking straight into another mess. Sally had told Nick that Adam kissed her. Sally and Nick each had a go at him separately, which left Adam convinced that Sally still loves him, of course. Sharon may have rolled her eyes back into her head when Adam shared his theory with her, but she knows there's truth to it. So does Nick, who is struggling with Sally's unresolved feelings for his brother. Scared of those feelings herself, Sally made a knee-jerk declaration to Nick, telling him she's falling in love with him too. Now, Nick can be a blockhead, but even he will see that for what it is. Perhaps that's why he puts the brakes on the relationship next week. Circling back to Tucker, he appears to have been stymied in his efforts to take over Jebot by Adam serving up blackmail material on him to Jack and Billy, who not only tried to make him leave town, but also warned him to stay away from Jack in Diane's wedding celebration. Tucker is clearly in regrouping mode, but one could never count him out. He definitely has a plan, as evidenced by him asking Audra to reignite the fire with Kyle. Will he crash the wedding? It seems likely based on the newest young and restless spoilers. In related commentary, the preview has Devin grilling Tucker on his connection to Mamie? That brings us to the, Mavie's return has been everything one could want for the Winters family, however, we got a little less than we'd hoped for when she squared off with Jill. It started out very promising, with Jill and Mamie trading nasty barbs just like old times, but de-escalated when Jill agreed to back off so she could stay at the gathering and swill bubbly. What Jill didn't walk back was her contention that the other shoe was going to drop, and she's not wrong. Mamie returned to her suite at the end of the evening and surprised viewers by getting on the phone with a mystery caller who she is clearly in cahoots with. While it could be Tucker, I can't imagine why Mamie would get mixed up with that guy. It makes no sense to me. Wishful thinkers suggested it could be Drusilla, but again, I can't imagine Mamie keeping that a secret from Devin and Lily for even a minute. My best guess is that it will turn out to be none other than Nina. Yep, Chance's mom is coming back to Genoa City, and she has a history with Jill that has been every bit as contentious as Mamie's. Moreover, they could have connected at the gala. They were both there. Why would Nina want in on Chancellor Winters? Well, her son is a chancellor, so there's that. In any case, the reveal is coming sooner rather than later. Share your theories on the mystery caller with me in the comment section, as Daniel's love life looks to be getting a lot more complicated in the coming days and weeks. Heather's moving back to Genoa City per the preview, so might his dad's. We've all seen that look in Phyllis' eye before, the one she had when she was cuddled up to Danny as he played piano. Will the crooner regret being so kind and compassionate toward his ex-wife? I'm guessing he will. Wow, it didn't take long for potential drama to rear its head as Jack and Diane's wedding celebration got underway. Summer could not keep her eyes off of Chance when he walked in, and it was impossible for Kyle and Tracy, who were standing with her, not to notice. Of course, Chance is with Sharon, and a little birdie told us that Audra is going to roll up to the event as well. What could go wrong? Jill went back to the Chancellor estate with Abby and Devin after Mamie's gathering and told them how happy she was that they'd settled in. Did anyone else buy this? 
I mean, they messed around behind her grandson's back, broke his heart, and ruined his marriage, and Jill's not one to let bygones be bygones. Come on. This is my opinion. Please share your take on this week's Young and Restless in the comment section.